Hey there, I'm Dr. Ruth Roberts, your pet's ally. Hope that you are well. I'm going to take these out because they're not hooked. Um, man, lots of strange stuff going on today. So we'll get to, uh, to Jamie's post list. And I'm sorry, I'm distracted looking at May's comment and I'm going, and I apologize y'all, I'm a little slow on the draw today. So let me pop over to the May page. Um, let's see, so Jamie, as far as one meal short, yeah, I would get some canned something. Um, chicken, salmon, tuna, whatever you can find to kind of feel uh, fill this, fill in that one meal just to kind of keep things smooth. And Susan and Pam, good to see you both. I have this nice video from Angela Artelino with her dog Nina, which is just this pup had osteosarc. And you can see in that right front foot, it's still there and it's still painful, but it's not growing. Uh, Janice is asking if there is a natural alternative for Denimarin, and yes, absolutely. Um, milk thistle, Sammy, I'm not so fond of because it, it just doesn't really seem to work. Um, you can also certainly use hepatic support uh, from standard process. I, I always found in practice that... Um, that denimarin really didn't work that well. And uh, frankly, it just, you know, it was dreadfully expensive and plain old milk thistle worked better. So Janice, it depends on the um, seriousness of what you're trying to deal with. If you're just trying to kind of clean things out, um, you know, I would use milk thistle. If there is significant, uh, liver enzyme elevations, I would look at hepatic support plus or minus liposomal glutathione. Um, Kathy, the, the, the harness that we've been using for Hyo, and granted she's not as big as your girls, um, is just a simple one that she steps through in the front and then it clicks in the, over the top. Um, so, and I'm sorry, it's in the car, I would show it to you, but we were able to get it on Amazon. Um, it's been super secure. We have one for Pepe that is um, very similar. It has some Velcro attachment on the back as well, but both of them be, have been great because neither one, uh, neither Pepe nor Hyo can back out of the harness, which is our hugest fear. And May, um, so, yeah, exactly, Jamie. I think Denimarin, you know, back to, to the question about Denimarin, I think it's pretty much worthless and dreadfully expensive. Um, and Sammy, I don't know why veterinary medicine assumed that Sammy was the thing for liver treatment when, in fact, it's the, um, it is the milk thistle that, there was a study for kids that had eaten animate meat of mushrooms, which are just, they just kill your liver. Um, so milk thistle was the thing that actually got those kids out of the hospital, which is astonishing. Let's see. So Pam, um, all right. So, <laughs> and I hope I'm back. I'm sorry. Again, you know, we're, we love this house, but uh, we did end up buying a uh, cell phone signal booster, which has just saved me. So um, you're, yeah, thanks, Pam. Uh, yeah. So the new pup choice is a Whippet and a Plot Hound or Boxer and Beagle mix. Um, so that'll be interesting to see who he chooses, but I think either one of those guys is going to be a great choice. And let's see. And then you're rotating the bison and canned salmon. And yeah, the two-a-day vitamin is okay for the new one as well. If you've got some holistic total body support left over, you could use that to, um, to kind of bump up the... Uh, uh, 
sorry guys, bump up the um, nutrition that's getting in there. And so this is very interesting what you what you wrote. So salmon worked great. And then third day, it sounds like he really did clean out his bowels, um, which is wonderful. Um, so the next test is a little bit of pork chop and adding to three meals and watch for a total of 72 hours. So the goal is, is that it can take up to 72 hours to see if something is going to create a problem. And then you would add, do the same thing with the veggies um, and try the ones that you think are going to be something you'd like to use on a regular basis. So whether they're red or not red, um, so actually just so whether they're red or not red, um, try the ones that you would normally like to feed. And then, yes, do you keep using the treats as the same protein on that day? And then while you're introducing the new food, not so much of a problem um, as far as treats. In fact, you could consider the new feed as new food as the treats. So the goal again is to kind of keep the backgrounds the same. And then when you add in, um, when you add in new stuff so that you're not going to be confused, oh, was it because I changed the treats today too or not? Um, so give that a go. Um, and yeah, if you do have holistic total body support, just use that because otherwise you're going to duplicate the minerals there. So that is good. Let's see. Where are we? Um, Mr. Willie. So Mr. Willie, this email is just, uh, I get so mad at my profession, but this email, the fact that IDEX wouldn't release their slides so that they could get a second opinion is just horrifying. Uh, and finally, that kind of garbage has stopped on the human side, but that's just ridiculous. So Handsome Willie, whose, whose skin is really not happy, um, has a potential new diagnosis. And the potential new diagnosis is uh, reactive histiocytosis. So I'm going to pop over here for a second. And this is just a horrible disease. There is a genetic issue in burners, uh, Bernese mountain dogs, evidently. But in other breeds, evidently it's often immu immune dysfunction secondary to some persistent antigenic stimulation. And Jamie, I think you told me that at some point Willie did have uh, Borrelia or Lyme disease. If he's had Leishmaniasis, that would be pretty bizarre unless you all have been down to Mexico recently. Um, and Pam also and we're back. Oh, he was positive for anaplasmosis. He's, anyway, so I would consider doxycycline and niacinamide. And I use this in practice for pets with autoimmune disease very successfully. Um, and yes, the amino B-plex has niacinamide in it, but it's a small amount. You do need 500 milligrams every eight hours. Um, and I think with niacinamide, you just got to find it. And generally, it is a prescription product. Um, and then I would definitely, I'm glad the acupuncture helped. That is wonderful. Um, and frankly, his gut is a mess right now. And at this point, if you can throw doxycycline and niacinamide in there on a regular basis, um, on a, you know, on a treatment basis and get this under control, I would add, um, microbiome labs, megaspore biotic, because it does actually help to repopulate the gut with, um, sorry, with spores that will, you know, get the good guys going in there. Um, so you've got a blood, two blood tonics, 
um, and that makes sense. So I may cons I would consider delaying the poop um, and doing the doxy. You know, do it, delay doing the fecal transplant basically. Um, although you know, if she's got it on order and it's coming, then you can do it both ways. See how he does with a crock pet diet with this much sweet potatoes, beans, and carbs. If it gets a lot worse, then then you need to back off of it, obviously. So see how that part goes. And then be carefully adding in this much fiber this fast. Because if he's been on keto and you're trying to add all that stuff in that fast, it is it can be extremely uncomfortable. Um, and gabapentin makes sense. The other thing you might consider too is um, low dose naltrexone because now you're looking at this from the perspective of an autoimmune disease. Um, ozone I think will be great. The other thing I would really look at too is, while well, this page loads, I'll pop my lovely face back on. Um, the other thing I would look at too are... Um, Myers cocktails. And so if this veterinarian, I'm not sure how she's doing the ozone. Some do it will will do it with insufflation rectally, and some will actually draw some blood, mix the ozone with it, and then re-inject it into the body. And I've had ozone therapy myself that way, which has been helpful. Hush, 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 hush. Um, so that's that's kind of where I would go. But Myers cocktails are a combination of um, B Hi. of B complex, um, super high dose of vitamin C, some magnesium, and then separate B12 injections, and then glut glutathione push. And so I think that may be helpful. Um, I'm not sure kind of what else is there. But, you know, talk to this doc. If she's doing the ozone via, in, via um, blood infusion, um, so drawing, essentially it's drawing blood, literally mixing it with this ozone, manipulating it back and forth, taking the excess amount of ozone out, and then injecting the whole thing back into the body, which sounds scary and horrifying, but it actually does work. So I think these are all good things. Um, you could also look at um, resolvents. That's the thing I wanted to talk to you about. So there, autoimmune disease and um, things like chronic disease, like what I'm dealing with, uh, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, things of that nature they continue to go on and on because the body has not appropriately stopped inflammation. So we now know that there's this inflammatory process. As that is peaking, what's supposed to happen is that molecules called resolvents are supposed to be produced. And as they are produced, um, they are the resolvins begin to be produced, the inflammatory molecules start to go down, the resolvin molecules start to come up so that that, that process is actually uh, slowed down. Um, and so there are, oh God, what is this stuff called? So there are supplements that are actually being made with, um, with resolvin molecules. And this is something I'm going to try myself in about two weeks, um, but whenever this stuff comes in. But this is something we might consider um, good. And you'd want light on the on that stuff on the uh, carbs because I think that really could be a problem. So this is something we could consider for Willie, and I have no idea if it will work, but it is the new frontier on resolving chronic inflammation, which is part of what you've got going on. Um, so this is, you know, this is something you, we can consider. The other thing is, is you will want to get your 
uh, omega-3 dose up to 150 to 200 milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day. I would also consider immune support from standard process if Willie is not sensitive to any of those things uh, and kind of take it from there. Yeah, so good, good on you for gradually in, increasing the um, um, and this just drives me insane, right? I had a nice day yesterday and today my brain is so inflamed I can't get the words out. Um, so I'm glad that you went slow with the carbs because that could really create some gut, gut distress. So talk to Dr. Lisa and to the other vet that does ozone therapy about Myers cocktails or a modified Myers cocktail. Um, Resolvins, high doses of omega-3, consider immune support. And then I would definitely go with doxy and, and niacinamide, but you do have to go with the higher dose of niacinamide for it to work. And there was one other thing, but it's it's escaping my mind at this point. So, I mean, it's is it a great answer? <laughs> it's better than cancer. And, and honestly, this makes sense to me because and I hate to say it this way, it sounds very harsh, but frankly, Willie shouldn't be with us still if this were cancer. So, the, I mean, this kind of explains why um, things got better and then they would go worse and why nothing really truly worked. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Uh, apologies for the rambling. Hopefully my brain and the internet will be much better next time we meet. So until then, take good care. Give everybody a big hug and uh, let, let me know what you guys decide to do. I'm really fo following this with fascination because something still isn't adding up. But autoimmune disease does make a great deal of sense. And then I would look at you know other things. So I know the anaplasmosis Make sure there's not a mold infection, too, in the house somewhere that's sort of hiding out. Oh, that was the thing, sauna. Um, that There's a lot of information that the heat shock proteins can help tremendously get the immune system to get back under control. And so you would want to do the sauna to his and your tolerance, uh, gradually work your time up, and then immediately at least hose him off and ideally scrub his skin down with like a loofah pad or something to loosen up any of the junk and get, get those toxins out of his system. Okay, so that's what I've got. Take good care. Hugs to everybody, especially Mr. Willie, who keeps trucking on like the proud guy he is. Mm -hmm.